previously on Calendar Girl. Her biggest aspiration is to become a best-selling author, and she wants to write a book. Um, but uh, she, again, is working for the magazine as a freelance columnist. She's a little tense. I'm not sure what's going on with the neighbor situation, but hopefully it won't cause too many problems. We just don't need that kind of drama in our life right now. We got enough going on with our relationships. Mitch is a writer, too, so they work together, maybe. Maybe. Well, let's just talk her up and see where she works. So where are you from? Where do you work? Okay, she's unflirty, so that's not what we wanted to know, but thanks for letting us know that you're unflirty. She, no one knows that she's Calendar Girl and she wants to keep it that way. Uh, she wants to remain anonymous. Um, and this would give her the, the opportunity to, um, you know, get to know people and people won't be afraid to talk to her. She failed. This was a failed mission. Um, we need to, we're on a mission to meet some people. Um, and, oh, there's Meche over there. And uh, you, you have one job. So she's blocking. I mean, we didn't ask Meche to join the conversation. This was an A and B. See yourself out. Wait a minute. Hello. <laughs> How are you having a full-blown conversation with him sitting way over here? <laughs> Did he just... <laughs> the Sims. <laughs> the Sims. Hello, this is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to another episode of Calendar Girl. I'm so grateful that you have decided to join me in <laughs> uh, following Harmony and becoming the best writer that she can possibly be. But right now, she is struggling in that regard. She had her first gig as a freelance writer, and uh, it was rejected over and over again. I think she edited the book. It was a fantasy book like six times and we missed the deadline and we got this little notice back. Harmony, I saw the edits you were working on. Look, don't even bother. There's no saving that thing. Just start over and create something good from the beginning this time. Okay. So yeah, it was, I guess, terrible. From the sounds of it, that was a very PC way of telling her that her book was terrible. Um, and then she got, the company thanks Harmony Priest for their work, but feels the plot is too contrived and breaks fan expectations too strongly. They will let her know if they want to work together in the future, but this wasn't the right project. Well, she's in good spirits, nonetheless. Um, it is Monday morning. She stayed up pretty much all weekend long trying to, well, at least Sunday, trying to get this out. Well, here's the thing. She did this very last minute. And because of that, this is why she failed. So she, this is a lesson learned. Harmony needs to um, give herself a little more time when completing projects and, um, and if she wants to be successful and, and, uh, and be taken seriously as a writer, um, she was given this job with Simlish and, you know, they were taking a chance on her because she really had no other, um, she didn't really have a lot on her resume, just some little things here and there. She had a blog and, uh, you know, she was a recent graduate, so there was nothing else. Uh, she doesn't have a lot of experience or worldly experience as far as writing is concerned. So, yeah, um, it's Monday morning, as you can see, and we <laughs> feel, oh, what is this in our inventory? Let's throw that away. 
we feel that maybe she could use a break considering I know I know I just finished saying that she needs to take her job seriously but um okay I was gonna say did she just set that on the floor but she could use some time out of the house so let's go check on Dosi see if she's um available to go hang out oh I didn't know that you could leave an affirming note on the billboard am I standing in the door can you not open the door okay there we go what's up girl um let's see let's agree to hang out with her oh she did come over earlier and asked if we wanted to hang out and she, she ignored her because she was busy so is she coming over here Yes, no, maybe so. Dosi? Um, all right, well, whatever. I mean, Dosi's gonna go stand in the corner. Oh, she's getting ready to go work out. Maybe we should work out with you. That's something that we could probably do. Let's leave an affirming note, though, with, for the rest of the neighbors. Also, we need to talk to Dosi about her music because... She seems to think that 10.30 at night is a great time to blast her music. And frankly, it's getting on Harmony's nerves and mine. So it doesn't look like Dosi wants to hang out. We probably um, asked her too late. Uh, so we will hit the shower and, I don't know, find something to do on our own. It's a nice day, so, you know, going to buy some, some produce. Oh, nice, some ingredients. This is a great idea to, I guess, what you would call a farmer's market. So let's take advantage of some of these uh, ingredients. She doesn't know how to cook, but now is a great time to start learning. So let's get some essentials. Let's not go overboard, however. Uh, we need, need tomatoes. Um, we got curry. Let's, let's grab, um, let's grab a lemon. Okay. This is kind of expensive. Good Lord. This is like whole foods. And since it is lunchtime or past lunchtime, she is hungry. Maybe she can grab a bite to eat. Um, from this gentleman here. Why are we haggling? Oh, it's rebate day. What is rebate day about? I'm just curious. Shopping rebate, all object purchases in build mode. Earn a 10% 10 rebate for today only. Buy an object worth at least 500 simoleons to complete this tradition. Watch for the rebate to arrive in the household funds later this week. Oh, okay. So she has to buy something from build buy. Is that correct? Did I read that correctly? Oh, here it is. What am I doing? Okay, so buy an object worth at least 500 smoke. So I assume build mode. Okay. All right. So we will do that. I, I don't know. what She does need something for her, her apartment. What is this protest that's going on over here? Um, did she order anything? Order discounted food? Um, I don't know how to pronounce that. We'll just get something simple. Oh, nice little discount. Let's get samosa. That sounds good. And um, then after we're done eating, maybe we can check out to see what's... Oh, there's our friend. Is his name George? Garrison. Garrison, if he would stop, <laughs> would you stop? Garrison Whittington. I'm curious. I want to know if he's single because we did see him hanging out with a lady at George's. That's why we said George's for some reason. And he it, it looked like they might have been on a date. Can we talk to him? Funny introduction. I mean, we can come back. Oh, he's protesting. Oh, there's Dosi. Is he? Okay, so we brought our food with us. We're not playing around. We're not going to leave our food. Okay, hi. How are you? Um... Let's enthuse about our meal. What's up with the the switching spots when people talk? I guess he doesn't want to stay in the middle row. That makes sense. All right, let's um, 
let's ask him about his day. And I really want to get to the... Look at Dosi over here. Introducing herself to... Who is this? Ian Lusk? Is that like Ian Musk? He's cute. Go ahead, Dosi. He, y'all kind of look alike. I don't know. Oh, he, oh, he's. Wow. Okay, so she's not used to spicy foods. Well, she is from the country, but um, you know that's not something that she's normally used to eating. But where did Dosi go? I guess we're going to go find her. Oh, she just. She just made herself at home. Excuse me, but uh, when did we give you a key to our apartment? Uh, remember, you asked me to hang out, so I just went for a quick jog and thought I would just stop by and, um, you know, see how you're doing. And I was going to invite you out for lunch, but I see you've already grabbed something to eat. Yeah, I did. Um, but I wanted to ask you, should I give that guy Enrique a call? Um, I'm, oof, girl, before you call anybody, you need a breath mint. How about that? So Harmony and Dosi decided that they were going to get out of the house and come and visit Meche. Uh, however, when they got here to their, uh, penthouse to Mercedes and her friends, roommates, penthouse, they were not expecting this. Look at this place. Oh, wait a minute. I've been thinking maybe opposite to track. This might be crazy. Let's go have dinner at Georgia's Brew Pub and see if... You know what? We just got invited out to dinner. And I know we said we were going to hang out with Dosi, Mercedes, and her girls. But this is what her job is about. Dating, relationships, and she really needs to mingle a little bit. Sure, we have Mr. Rossi on our mind. And he, he's not really our type. But let's go. Let's let's see what happens. George's is, must be like the hot place to go around here. And I noticed that <laughs> Harmony did not even take the time to change her clothes. She's not putting a lot of effort in this to this date. So we already know that she's not really feeling it, but you know, it's some, wow, he just walked through the wall and, but it's somebody to, to hang out with. And he seems like a nice guy. He might be, you know, a surprise. Um, let's see what a relationship with him is because he was bold enough to ask her out. Where's he at? She doesn't really know him, but Okay. And he's sitting. Are you? Wow. He invited her out to eat, walked in, sat down at the table with Daya. Are you? <laughs> Rude. They must know each other. Judging from this conversation, they must be dating and she caught him. This is crazy. How do you just invite someone out to eat, out to dinner, and then your girl, your girlfriend, your wife maybe, is waiting for you? Is this your spot, dude? Is is this where, <laughs> is this where you bring your? Okay, they're having a true argument. <laughs> Harmony's like, yeah, I don't think I really want to be here. But she's getting a kick out of this. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, she ordered herself something to eat and everything. See this? Look at this. There's two. Wow. Unbelievable. You are unbelievable. How do you... He just grabbed his plate and his drink. Is this how we're doing? Is this what we're doing? 
is this what we're doing? You're ridiculous. You're absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss for words. She's been chatting it up with this, uh, this other p- patron. Her name is, um, Layla and Layla saw the whole thing and she felt sorry for Harmony, but Harmony is taking it in stride. She's like, I, I, I'm embarrassed, but this will make <laughs> for a funny story later. So, you know, it is what it is. It's the whole thing with dating. You're going to get some frogs and I guess I'll continue to kiss them until they become princes. But she hasn't, she didn't kiss him. Thank God. Um, <laughs> Layla's like, girl, I know what you're talking about. I've been through the very same thing that you're going through right now. That's the life of being single. I, I, th- I did he just mean mug her? Wow, he gave her side eye. Sir, bruh. <laughs> he has some nerves. Some nerves. Layla's like, girl, I'll give you some advice. Do like I'm doing and walk away. Yeah, I think Harmony's going to do just that. Walk away. Harmony happened to see Enrique pass by. And she completely ignored him. What's he got in his hand? Some food? And then I happen to see this guy over here. He was sleeping on the bench and it's raining. So I wonder if he's homeless. And he, you know, he looks absolutely sad. And I don't mean to get like all emotional, but yeah. So I think I'm going to have her stop the conversation that she's having and introduce herself to uh, Enele. I think that's his name. I think that's how you pronounce it, Enele. There's Enrique again, but um, yeah. Where'd we go? Where did she go? She must have went back upstairs. I definitely want to get to know this guy. (laughs) I really hate to see someone sleeping on the bench, especially in front of our apartment complex yeah we don't want to ignore him um that would be wrong so let's talk to him let's get to know this guy um see how he's doing i i don't want to pry uh because i think it's really none of my business but let's keep the conversation kind of light Talk about the weather, um, discuss, get to know. Let's see. I want to find out if he has a job. Let's ask him about his career. Tell him about our career, maybe. He's thrifty. Okay. So maybe, maybe he's living off the grid. I don't know. I. Yeah. Okay, he works, he does work. He works at Hogan's Grub Stalls. Oh, that's right. He works over here. But do you have a home? Okay, well, I guess that was enough for her to walk upstairs, back upstairs. Okay, well, he had to go to work, I'm assuming. He says, we actually need to look for a gig So let's check for some gigs. We need to make some money. Our funds are getting lower and lower as the day goes. And rent will be due soon. Is there a way to figure out when rent's due? Is it due once a week? (laughs) You can tell like I use apartments. Um, Oh, she's got some points to use. All right, so let's see if we can find something that's maybe a little more speed because we were struggling with that one. Uh, Convincing copy for a newspaper ad. Let's go with that. I didn't even read it. <laughs> I didn't even read it. Scrap it. Can I go read it here? What's it say? Okay, so let's go ahead and... Oh, okay. So due by Thursday. It's Tuesday. Let's go ahead and work on that now. Let's um, 
chat with the client. Maybe we can gather some information from the client, see what they want, because we failed that last gig utterly, and we just don't want that type of reputation. Um, you know, this is why she came to the city. This is why she came to San Maestrino to become a successful writer. You know, she's satisfied with the column, the columnist gig. It's, you know, maybe temporary. It could be permanent. But if we keep failing our assignments, it may not be permanent. Just got a notification from Dosi because GeekCon is out. And she wants us to go along with her. Uh, Harmony has a job to do, but she has until Thursday. I know, I know. We said the last time that she wasn't going to be... <laughs> procrastinator she's not but you know she she's here to also meet folks and make some friends so yeah let's let's go let's bring some friends along maybe she can invite oh yeah let's invite invite mercedes Corey, and giada um maybe we can my thought is we should also invite Cairo, but I, I feel like that could get kind of messy because it looks like she and Cairo have a really good friendship, but she's curious about what's going to happen with her and Mercedes. Now, I'm going to stop right here because consensus in the comments below, everyone agreed that Harmony should pursue Enrique. I'm down with that, but also keep her options open, which we have been doing. So she is going to pursue Enrique, but I think she also wants to kind of play matchmaker and kind of fix her and Ky uh, Mercedes and Cairo up. What do y'all think? I'm going to go for it and... Um, Hope for the best. Okay, let's go. Feeling a little underdressed. Just a little bit. I mean, check out all the uh, the costumes. I mean, the cool costumes. But, oh, wait. Lady, where are your pants? This isn't suitable. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that is indecent. <laughs> all right. Um... So, yeah, we invited uh, Giada's cleaning up. We did invite uh, Enrique, and uh, so we're, we're going to talk to him. And, um, <clears throat> oh, it, did someone else catch his eye? No? Okay, he's going to wait for us. Let's chat him up and uh, see if he, he might be a little bit interested because we really didn't get to talk to him a whole lot at the club and, or what was it, the karaoke lounge. And um, he seemed to have just walked away. Maybe he's playing hard to get, I don't know. I wonder if he's single. Let's ask if he's single because we don't know that. But first let's discuss some interests. He doesn't look like he's in a great mood, but nobody's in a good mood when it's raining. Stranger danger. Oh, that's right. He is a stranger. Actually, most of these people are. So she's not in a very comfortable setting. There's a bunch of uh, people. She doesn't do well in crowds. All right. Um, okay, did I delete a piece? Of, <laughs> did I delete a piece of CC? What is going on? Why, why are people showing up in their skivvies? I'm going to need you guys to go home and, and fix your outfits. Um, okay, let's let's um, ask if he's single. Oh, wait a minute. Where is he going? Oh, great. Okay. He is playing hard to get. And I don't really have time for that. We can start looking around. This is GeekCon. There might be some potentials here. Maybe not really up uh, our speed, but... Who knows? Uh, Harmony may have found her future husband. He just happened to be walking by. Uh, well, 
you know, she had her radar on. Oh my gosh, is that Enrique? It is. Where are you? You just gonna let him? I guess so. She's just gonna let him walk. I guess he did show up. Oh, okay. Well, come over here and talk to um, Adam Black. He is certainly a good looking uh, dude. <laughs> and who's this lady standing by? He's very nice looking. Um, let's, uh, let's get to know Mr. Black. Let's ask him about his day. We happen to do that quite often. But I mean, that's just polite. Ask someone about their day when they, you first introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Harmony. How's your day been? <laughs> he seems nice enough. He's very good looking. Uh, you look really good and mint. I didn't say that. But um, he's really nice. Um, let's ask if he's single. Is he leaving? Is that why we can't talk to him? Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. She's not in a great mood. What's going on? Irritated. Harmony is really annoyed right now. Why are you annoyed? Writing in journal. Okay. Um, so I haven't seen you around here. Are you new to the town? Yes, actually, I just moved here a couple weeks ago. Um, oh, and he's single. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> ask for money. Um, he's single, and what else do we know about him? Okay, she's just not in the mood. All right, no problem, girl. You're not in the mood. At least you got to know him a little bit. You know that his name is Adam Black. You can always uh, find out a little bit more about him later. Um, yeah, so he's on our list of possibilities. We're not going to make any, um, decisions, but, um, we do need to start dating around. We had our first date. It went horribly, but it will make for good writing material later. We've arrived back at home and as promised, Harmony has, um, started on her next gig. She's very frustrated. I don't know if that's from earlier or if she's just frustrated with this gig. I don't know, but she will get through this. It's probably not the best time to be writing, but she really needs to vent. Girl, don't tear your computer up. You really don't have the money to be replacing uh, anything. And speaking of replacing things, um, I think we will start decorating. Oops, I think we'll start decorating our apartment when she's had a few successful gigs because we really don't need to be spending any money. Uh, we need to definitely watch our pennies, even though she's been going out quite a bit. But that's going to just be part of her lifestyle, living in the city and hanging with her girlfriends. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. But before I leave you, I do want to ask, a question <laughs> and I've and you know I asked the same question last time but what do you guys think about Enrique do you think that he's avoiding us purposely or do you think that he's just playing hard to get I mean if he's not interested then Harmony just needs to go on about her business and maybe get to know this other guy Adam um, what do you think all right let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Calendar Girl. If you're not a subscriber, I do hope you decide to subscribe and like and share this because we greatly appreciate it. And until next time, guys, ciao. Dear Sam Maishuno, the impromptu phone call from Fred should have been a red flag. I've changed the names to protect the innocent. Would you like to go out tonight? Warning bells went off in my head. I hardly knew this guy. In spite of myself, I accepted the invitation and showed up as is. I didn't even take the time to change my clothes. 
I could blame my lack of enthusiasm for the end of a horrible date that, let's be honest, ended before it even started. But to tell the truth, as soon as we entered the restaurant, the real housewives of San Maishuno began. <laughs> I'm chuckling to myself remembering the bewildered look on Fred's face when he saw his significant other seated comfortably in a corner booth. Judging from her expression, she'd been expecting him. I presume Fred had not foreseen his wife, girlfriend, showing up at his spot. But don't cry for me, Sam Maishuno. Your city has an amazing, no, impetuous way of redeeming itself. My night with Mr. Merch was exceptional. An unexpected meet cute turned into a date night with Mr. Endless Possibilities. His conversation made me feel as if there were no spontaneous texts or phone calls. The only interruptions were the plates of delectable cuisine the city boasts, and we enjoyed every bite. Siempre hay esperanza. There is still hope and love for you and for me. Still enjoy my leftovers, calendar girl. P.S. We have another day planned for next week. <laughs>